Hi, I'm Martin McGraw from Financial Ed Group. We specialize in helping setting people up for their retirement to get their best result. Today, I want to talk about what you should be doing with your super if you're aged between 60 and 65. This is probably the most critical point of super and retirement planning that you really need to do. Why? Because at 60, you can actually start to access your super. Even if you don't want it or need it, perhaps you should consider it because there's some strategies that we can do. So I want to give you my top three tips. And one is you want to max out your super concessional contributions. Sounds jargon, but that's the amount that you can put into super and save on tax. The limit per person is $25,000 a year. And there's a massive tax savings you can get by doing that, assuming you're earning over $40,000 a year and still working. How do we do that? We find the money from wherever we can. That might be tapping into some savings, money off the offset or redraw on the home loan. There's a strategy called a transition to retirement pension and that's actually where you take money out of your super fund to put back into your super fund. It's legal, you're allowed to do it, it's called a transition retirement pension, and that means that, hey, well, I can put an extra $10,000 in the super, but I can't find it anywhere. We actually contact your super fund, set it up in a certain way. You can take the 10,000 out of there to then put back into there and gain a massive tax saving out of that. So if, if you, that's kind of where we go to if we need to, called a transition to retirement pension. But we wanna make sure we're maxing out that $25,000 contribution each year you're working, right to at least 65. From 60 to 65, this is the period where we wanna make sure we're gonna be debt free. So if our mortgage is cleared, perfect. If it's not, now is where perhaps we do the same thing, transition to retirement pension, we start to access some lump sums to clear that mortgage. Whatever your balance is left, often people avoid putting into super to try and clear the mortgage. I want to put into super first, but again, perhaps we can access some lump sum out of super to clear that mortgage and know that it's gonna be paid off within a year, two or three years, something like that. So if the mortgage is still there, have a clear plan to pay it off. That includes accessing money out of super to pay it off. Or if the mortgage is gone and you've got some extra savings, now's where we wanna be putting in what's called a non-concessional contribution. That's some extra money and saving inheritance or where that sits that you can go and put that money into super to basically get in that tax-free environment. 60 to 65, third point is, Make sure your investments are set up the right way for retirement. Everyone's situation is different. The approach we take here at Financial Edge Group is using an investment bucket system, which is somewhat complicated. Happy to talk you through one-on-one, -on -one. but what it does is it separates the risky side of your super, the shares, the property where you're gonna get a higher return from the cash. What that means is when there's a share market crash, you're not having to sell shares. You've got some cash reserves that you're gonna live off until you need to top those up. Now is the time you should be doing that. If you wait till retirement, it's too late. You wanna be doing that at least in your 60s, if not even earlier, to make sure you've got that right investment set up so that when you do retire, you're not exposed to any kind of share market shocks. They will happen, but we wanna make sure we've got a strategy in place to reduce that. So they're my top tips. If you're aged between 60 and 65, you wanna make sure you're maxing out your concessional contributions no matter what. Find the way to do it, even if it includes accessing your own super. Two, make sure you're debt free. Make sure you're finding ways to get that money out of super to clear that debt. Might take a few years as a strategy, there's certain limits that we can access, but make sure you've got a clear plan about how we're gonna get debt free. If you already are debt free, put that extra money back into super. And number three, make sure your investments are set up the right way for your retirement. Doesn't mean turning it all to cash, quite, quite the opposite, I don't want all of it in cash, but make sure you've got a right balance between cash and, and risky or shares. Um, so you can get the best return in retirement. If you want to find out more or have a bit of a chat one-on-one, -on -one, feel free to reach out. We offer a complimentary first appointment. We're more than happy to take you through what those situations might look like for you.